Welcome, everybody, to the day we've all been looking forward to. The start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Sixers coach Brett Brown helped build this team from ground zero. There were some lean years in Philly, but Brown helped set the values and the culture for this team. Brown said, can you teach? Can you cultivate relationships? And do you bring energy? Those three qualities are what I've hoped to create throughout my tenure here. Kevin, mission accomplished. He's done a terrific job. Thanks, David. And now, a look at the upcoming schedule for the 76ers. On Friday, they'll tip off a road trip in Charlotte where they'll take on the Hornets. Then on Sunday, they'll go up against the Magic in Orlando. And a look at the starters for the Pistons. On the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. Rose is out there with Reggie Jackson. And it's Brown in a small forward. And for Philadelphia. The tall lineup out there for the 76ers. Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Horford, and MB. Well, the Pistons are starting to embrace the deep ball. First year under Coach Casey, they shot many more threes. Went from middle of the pack in 2018 to sixth overall last year. So Philadelphia will get the first possession. And there's the pass to Embiid. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. Outside, Simmons. Stolen by Jackson. The kick out to Brown. No good on the triple. And the threes the Pistons put up last year, Steve. A franchise record for them. Next step is they're going to have to make them. This team is still looking for the right outside threats, but they know they want to stay a team that attacks from outside. And here we go, Richardson heading to the hoop. And a slam dunk by Richardson. And that's how you start the fast break. Josh Richardson forcing the turnover. He did that in college, and he's doing it now. Outside Rose. Inside, here's Griffin. Here's Drummond. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And now the adventure begins. Drummond, one of the worst free throw shooters on the planet. The Pistons shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. throw good Drummond well you look at the former all-star Andre Drummond and the way he rebounds Greg he might be the best in the league in that department uh, I mean few players in the history of the league can go off for 20 plus rebounds on any given night Drummond's one of them uh, attacks the glass on the offensive end so well his offensive rebounding for me sets him apart Good on the second, so he makes them both. The entire offseason leading up to tonight, Steve, as a player, do you already know if your team uh, has a chance to be special this early? You know, Kevin, yeah, you do. And I think the teams that I've been on and teams that you see and saying we don't have a chance to win, you try to trick yourself. You're looking at management and ownership. Can we make a deal throughout this year to get us in, in contention? But you got to be realistic. You know the team that you don't have a chance to win a championship. Here's Brown. It's hauled in by the 76ers. 0 for 3 now in the early going. Just a little bit out of sync. Here's Richardson. That shot, no good. Nice D from Rhodes. And they're 1 of 5 to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. 
Elbow shot is on the way. Misses off the right iron. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Richardson, good. Richardson's got his second bucket. I like their calling Richardson's number, showing confidence in his ability to make that shot. Brown feeling it out a bit. Here's Griffin. And Embiid with the block. And he recovers it. And there it is for him. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Pass to Harris. And it's sent back by Drummond. It's amazing Drummond doesn't block more shots. He has a nine-foot standing reach. Rose passes to Jackson. Over Simmons. A miss that time. Would have put him up. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. Here's the floater. Count it. And with off-the-charts awareness, Simmons makes plays that others simply don't see. Jackson finds Rose. Now here's Griffin. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Jackson. It's hauled in by Harris. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. And the basket by Horford. Give Josh credit, taking the challenge offensively, discipline, and that's a beautiful pass. Jackson deciding where to go with it. Down low, here's Rose. And no good that time. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Richardson kicks to Simmons. With some arc, and he sinks the layup. And, and Simmons is so deft with the floater, freezing the D completely. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Back to Jackson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Ben Simmons. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. The Pistons shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. In the season ago, they hit about 75% of their free throws. The free throw drops for Jackson. And as long as Reggie Jackson is healthy, he's going to give you some punch as a lead guard solid scoring option and a guy who's also unselfish in terms of getting his teammates involved Jackson hits both of them and for the last half decade Reggie Jackson has been good for about 15 points a game and that is about the consistency you can expect from Jackson. He's always been a talent. The key for him is just staying on the floor. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Here's Rose. Second shot opportunity. And the layup is up and in. It doesn't matter if the defense is hanging all over Derrick Rose. He is still draining shots in their grill. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And boy, what a year it was for Derrick Rose. And the sea of fans hoping that he would get back to what he once was as he was electric.
And let's see the stat sheet here on Joel Embiid. Coming off a terrific season. Second in rebounding. Fourth in scoring. And he finished among the top ten in blocks, bringing that intimidation factor to the paint. And looking back at last season, his complete dominance on the boards to rank number two overall. Absolutely remarkable. Now here's Simmons. Embiid trying to break loose. The 76ers again can't hit it. Here's Griffin. Drummond dishes to Griffin. Good work defensively by Richardson. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Here's Harris. Embiid trying to break loose. And the basket by Harris. A big part of what makes Harris a more physical player right now is he has filled out his frame and he is able to finish through contact. Jackson from long range. And Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his fourth rebound in this one. Richardson against Rose. Richardson, no luck. Pistons trail by four. Outside Rose. Jackson up top. Passes to Drummond. Six on the shot clock. Here's Griffin. Drummond trying to get himself free. And Griffin with the score. The assist by Brown. This is what you want out of your offense. A high percentage look for Blake Griffin. Harris against Brown. Here's Embiid. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And the wide open shot from Rose. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. And a bump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. And the basket by Harris. And the 76ers lead by four. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Griffin looking it over. He dishes it to Rose. Launches a three. Rebound by the 76ers. And another miss. Ooh, he's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Here's Simmons. Out to Harris. Banked in off the glass. Harris has got six. It can be deceiving. The quickness of Harris's first step. Nice. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. Many lately, we're seeing more deep three-pointers than ever before. Think you could uh, step out to that 35-foot mark? Hey, Kevin, I could step out there, but the question is, could I make them at a high percentage? And that's what's so beautiful now. You're seeing these guys step out further and further, but their percentage is higher and higher than it would be from others in my area shooting 35-footers. This is fantastic, but I do not want to see a four-point line. Some changes for Philadelphia. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Embiid. Jonah Bolden comes in for Al Horford. And it's Zaire Smith in for Richardson. And a different look here for the Pistons. Doomboy is checked in for Andre Drummond. Luke Kennard comes in for Brown. Langston Galloway is checked in for Rose. And it's Frazier in for Jackson. And it's Zaire Smith with the foul. That's his first foul. Frazier against Simmons. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. We know how strong Griffin is, but he has the ability also to adjust his body in midair to draw the contact. And Smitty, Blake Griffin stepping up his game in every way since joining the Detroit Pistons. Kevin, last season was a career year in scoring. 
and he's doing so much on the floor. Rebounding and passing are a big part of his game now, and he's leading the way for this team in a lot of ways. And guys, one thing that has been interesting to see since Blake Griffin came to Detroit is how he's developed as a leader, has come into his own with how he takes responsibility for the team's play. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. Dumboya, good. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Now, here is Smith. Here's Simmons, and Simmons slams it in. With the combination of strength and size, Simmons throws it down with ease. And with Griffin, you look at his time on the Clippers, and for most of his career, he was more of a second in command. Coach Casey said last year, early on, that Griffin is the leader of this team, and Blake took it upon himself to step up to the challenge. Makes sense no matter how you look at it, He's their best player and needs to be one of the leaders. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Simmons. This is what we talk about, valuing each possession, avoiding those kinds of mistakes. Markeith Morris has checked in for Blake Griffin. Simmons against Frazier. Who's watching you? Pass to Galloway. Switch, 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 switch. The pass to Morris. Six to shoot. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Looking at some numbers for Simmons. Great showing for him last season. Last year averaged 17 points a game. Seven assists and nine rebounds. And the phrase stats don't lie absolutely <laughs> applies here. He's been a monster on the court for this team. He's versatile. He's prolific. There really isn't much a defense can do once he catches fire. They get it back. Galloway, the pass to Dumboya. And it's blocked. It's out of bounds. The Pistons able to retain possession here. Frazier the pass to Kennard. That puts them in the lead. And the Pistons lead by one. Easy look for mid-range. He won't miss many of those. Lazy effort defensively. Simmons finds Harris. 13 feet away. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got four assists in the game. Play him tight. Frazier against Simmons. Here's Morris. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. The 76ers shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50%. Here's Harris. Good work defensively by Morris. Detroit's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Here's Kennard. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Now, here is Smith. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Harris. That's tipped. Up top, Frazier. Guarded by Simmons. Doom Boya, good. Man, he has come out focused and efficient. Love what he's doing at the offensive end. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Simmons against Frazier. That's tipped. Bolden passes to Simmons. Shot clock at three. The 76ers need to get off a shot. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Scotty's checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. Twenty-four seconds left in the first. Simmons and the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. 
Frazier outside. To the inside, Morris. And Morris throws it down. And a hard finish there, guys. Yeah, and only one hand needed for that one. Now here's Simmons. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. Blake Griffin getting it done for Detroit. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Andre Drummond says he's learned how to be a leader on this team. Watching previous guys who've led this team and did the things that they did, I write that kind of stuff in the back of my head and just say, you know, this is something I need to do this. Or if I see something I didn't like, you know, this is something I probably will stay away from. And I think now that I'm in a role where I could kind of lead this team, I kind of have the blueprint on what I need to do to make this team successful. And, you know, Greg, with Blake Griffin, he's got somebody to take some of that leadership role alongside him. And those two will be pivotal in deciding just how good this team can be. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. Guys, what do you think so far from what we've seen from the Pistons? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. And you know this, most of the time, offensive rebounds generate high percentage looks. Here are the five. Detroit has to start the second quarter. They've got Morris. Doomboya is out there with Kennard. Then there's Frazier. And it's Galloway in at the two. Shooting two. That's good from Scott. Steady at the defensive end. Who are the best players in the league at selling a charge call? I would say Kevin Kyle Lowry is one of my favorites. Marcus Smart, P.J. Tucker. Those are the guys that come to mind that do it well. They take charges and also they sell them. Yeah, I, Tucker in particular, and I love Lowry, but Tucker, he'll take it, and you know it hurts, <laughs> but he takes it every game and multiple times a game, right? I mean, wow. Yes, indeed. And stolen by Scott. And here comes Smith leading the fast break. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, Kevin, in Blake Griffin, the Pistons have their biggest star in years, probably going back to their championship team of 2004. A return to all-star form for Blake meant tremendous individual numbers last season. And the Pistons hadn't won a playoff game in more than a decade. Still not the result they want in 2019. The Pistons will be trying to capitalize during Blake's prime. Kevin, we'll see where this franchise goes from here. We sure will, David, but he's a terrific player. Thank you so much. They can't shake him. He is very used to getting hit. Even with contact, he can finish strong. Tipped away. Frazier kicks to Kanon. Lets it go with a three. And it's blocked by Simmons. Teardrop shot. Shot's good by Kennard. Kennard's got the game tied up here for the Pistons. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Here's Simmons, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And Detroit gets called for the foul. What mastery from Simmons. Fooling the entire defense in the paint there. It's his first trip to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. And this summer, a five-year, $170 million max contract extension for Ben Simmons. The Sixers didn't want to give him any cause to look elsewhere. A great talent, but the hope with that kind of money is that he'll develop that jump shot. And Simmons drops them both. And when he gets ahead of steam, you almost feel sorry for defenders. Ben Simmons, a combination of size, speed, and ball handling that can at times be unstoppable. Clock 
clock at four. No good there. And it's Detroit the other way. And with his passing and driving ability, Greg, Simmons is like combining a, a power running back in football with a pinpoint passing quarterback. Uh, not much he can't do. Kevin, a football metaphor is appropriate. Simmons grew up playing Australian rules football, and the physicality and quick thinking of that sport really reflected in his style of play. Now, here is Smith. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Harris outside. And the foul on Mike Scott. That is his first foul of the game. And the 76ers with some changes. Embiid comes in for Jonah Bolden. And Josh Richardson subbed in for Zaire Smith. Detroit also making some changes. Andre Drummond's checked in for Langston Galloway. And it's Jackson in for Frazier. Here's Kennard. Six points for him. Morris passes to Kennard. Embiid against Morris. Here's Jackson. They get it back. A second chance effort. And there's the nice layup by Drummond. And that ties it up. What well, makes Drummond a great rebounder, not just the size and athleticism, it's his tremendous anticipation. Now here's Richardson. Pass to Scott. Simmons on the wing. Trying to find Scott. Gets it to him. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And coming into this season, questions about whether the Sixers could retain their star players. Well, Greg, they shuffled the decks, but they still have great talent. Swapping in Al Horford for Jimmy Butler, Josh Richardson for J.J. Redick. The, the Sixers still in the mix to come out of the East. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Steve, Kobe Bryant said that growing up in Italy gave him a huge advantage learning the fundamentals and the tactics of the game. Do you think Europe's better at developing players than the United States? You know, I don't think they're better. I do think their system at times for certain players, they get into a system of working on their game. And I wouldn't just say fundamentals from an early age. And a lot of those guys are being able to practice with pros at an early age. I think it comes down to individuals. And I also think a lot of these uh, parents and kids, you have to understand it starts off with making a layup versus making a three. So I don't think the Europe is doing it better. I just think a lot of times right now we're looking at some of those European players and they're coming over ready to play from day one versus some other players. He misses the free throw. One area that the Pistons were great in last year was perimeter defense. What they did, GA, they closed out on shooters fantastically. They got hands up and hands up high, allowed the fewest threes against as a team. Their interior defense was just so so, but on the perimeter, they were tough. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. The former five-star recruit, first overall pick in the draft. Griffin's been slowed down only by injuries. Now, here's Richardson. Back to Embiid. Outside, Scott. Richardson for three. Another miss by Philadelphia. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Rose finds Jackson. Drummond with it. Passes it to Brown. Good on the three-point shot. Brown's got the lead up to four now for the Pistons. For Philadelphia, they've gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Knocks it loose. Griffin with the steal. Bobbed up there for Drummond. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. 
with the flexibility to adjust at the rim, Drummond can catch the pass almost anywhere and still throw it down. Richardson outside. Pass to Scott. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Here's Griffin. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And don't look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. They're doing it by building it out, step by step, valuing each possession. And the defensive impact that Andre Drummond can have on the floor is a major factor. Well, you know that Drummond is going to do the work of three players on the glass, but he's also been a solid rim protector who makes up for his height with great timing and reach. Griffin no good on that one and after he missed the first two seasons of his career Greg with the broken bone in his foot would injuries be your main concern for Joel Embiid look no doubt about it as long as he's healthy he's an all-league performer still seven footers carry a lot of weight in our league he wants to prove he can play big minutes they just got to make sure they protect him well what's not to like about Joel Embiid a, a physical specimen at over seven feet tall all the skill in the world and a personality made for stardom the Pistons have shot 75 percent at the stripe six of eight And he makes the first. You talk about Embiid's personality, whether it's on the court or through social media. Greg, he's not shy speaking his mind. One of the best trash talkers in the league. He doesn't hold back, but it's never personal. He's embracing the spirit of competition. Blake Griffin hits them both. The 76ers trail by seven. Outside, Simmons. From 11 feet away, another shot, and it's sent back by Drummond, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. And the 76ers call time here. The wheels have come off a little bit leading up to this timeout. He has taken some low percentage shots, and it's killing the floor of their offense. More motion, more ball movement. That should lead to better looks for him and for the entire team. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scores from a season ago. Fourth, Joel Embiid. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Here's Griffin. Oh! oh. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Blake Griffin's teammates have to say wow because they get the chance night in and night out to see something fantastic. The pass to Simmons. Over Jackson. The 76ers with another miss. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Griffin down low. Richardson cover. 
Pass to Rose. From deep. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. It's off to Charlotte for him after this game as they take on the Hornets. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for him. Here's Embiid. And the shot is long. And it's Detroit's ball. They're on a 16-5 run. And Griffin slams it in. If you allow Blake Griffin to get that close, the result, a dunk. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. 11-point game. Passes it to Richardson. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Andre Drummond picks one up. Well, maybe not the most well-known player in the league, but Josh Richardson has been a big source of offense, and Grady's done it for a while now. A bit of a specialist, but Richardson has no problem putting up and making threes. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And Josh Richardson, a 3-and-D type player, recommitted himself last year, Smitty, to defense. Kevin, he felt like he wasn't being impactful on the defensive end and vowed to amend that. He can be a nuisance with that reach, and he's put in that extra work to solidify his defensive presence. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Rose passes to Jackson. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. And let's quickly take a look at some stats for Blake Griffin. He's coming off an excellent season. Checking in at about 24 points per. Seven rebounds and five assists. And no secret, he can score the ball number one on the team last year. He loves being the go-to guy. You can see it in his swagger. And boy, he sure lit it up last season. Well, so far, this cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. Pass to Horford. Over Rose. That one's in there. The Detroit lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Al Horford. The defense is there, but because of the height disparity, there is no real contest. Outside Griffin. Goes back up. Indeed, Drummond drops it in. Drummond's got six in the quarter. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Knocked away. Stolen by Rose. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Richardson. I mean, when Blake is coming at you full speed, you have two choices. Let him go or foul him. The Pistons have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. First free throw is good. And he's been much more aggressive here in the second quarter. He's getting to the line a lot more than he did in the first. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Philadelphia. Zaire Smith comes in for Scott. He doesn't get the second one. You know, Smitty, Commissioner Adam Silver has been outspoken in saying there will be a female NBA head coach, and he says it's on him to help it happen sooner than later. And, Steve, we already see many women in various categories in the NBA all over the league right now. So true, Kevin. I love the diversity, and it's much needed in our league. And I will say Adam Silver has done a great job of taking us in that direction. The 76ers have gone 5 of 8 from the charity stripe here tonight. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Pistons leading by seven. Left side, Griffin.
outside Rose. Just five to shoot. Looking to get back on track here. Smith with the defensive effort. Philadelphia's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. And the pass to Horford. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. And now just a five-point piston lead. Stretches the four nicely for a big, versatile. Horford's become a perennial all-star. Rose, and it's been a while, but he finally gets one to go. Rose has got his second bucket tonight. And here is Simmons. He's got eight. Feeds it to O'Quinn, and the shot is good. And Simmons is just so intelligent in these screen and rolls. A fantastic decision maker. Pass to Jackson. Jacks up a three. Some changes for Philadelphia. Jonah Bolden's checked in for Horford. And Harris subbed in for Ben Simmons. Then for the Pistons, Luke Kennard, he's checked in for Bruce Brown. Langston Galloway comes in for Rose, and it's Frazier in for Jackson. A minute 50 left in the second quarter. Richardson kicks to Harris. Fires for three. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's. And it's tonight. Now Smith. We've got 118 left in the first half of the game. Smith on the wing. From outside, off the mark. Detroit leading by five. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, over the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about seeding playoff teams 1 through 16, regardless of conference. Now, taking the top 16 teams is a tough sell, Hit. especially That's for good. owners whose teams are in the relatively Hit. weaker Eastern Conference. But taking eight teams from each conference and then cross-seeding earlier than the finals is something that does seem possible down the road. The reward for fans might be a finals matchup with the two best teams in the league. Kevin? Interesting ideas. David, thank you. Doomboy is checked in for Detroit. Free throw, no good for Drummond. A nightly double-double machine. Andre Drummond gives you reliable production. Here's Richardson, and it's sent back by Drummond. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. Dishes it to Frazier. Here's Kennard, guarded by Harris. Kennard, the pass to Drummond. Baseline try. Rebound by the 76ers. Harris has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Out left to the wing. Stolen by Dumboya. Frazier against Smith. To the paint. It's stolen by Smith. From deep three-point range. And so is Detroit. Bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Derek, how does it feel to be back on the floor again? It feels good, man, especially um, playing with my teammates. We have new teammates. We're just trying to come out here and just play hard and compete. Good to see you back out here, Derek. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. The first quarter was all about Blake Griffin. He ended up with 19 points, four rebounds, and one steal. Taking a look at the Pistons, Shaq, what did you think? The speed they're playing with has been fantastic. 
They're pushing the ball in transition and catching the defense. That's snapping, Ernie. Anyway, a huge chunk of their offense has come on the break. They've got a nice lead, but they shouldn't slow anything down. I say keep doing what you do. And Kenny, your take on Philadelphia. Well, one problem I see is that they're too timid on the board. When you start to fall behind in the game, you need to become more aggressive on the offensive glass and the defensive glass. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. You look at Blake Griffin in this game. He's been everywhere. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. It's a part of his game that he can always tap into. There's an art to it, and he is painting the canvas tonight. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for Detroit. They've led by as many as 11 points. The tall lineup out there for the 76ers. Simmons, Richardson, Harris, Horford, and Embiid. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Five on the clock. Rose kicks to Jackson. Detroit needs to get off a shot. Offline from the top of the key. The 76ers trail by seven. Puts it up from 12. Harris's shot is off. The piston shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Well, we knew that Tobias Harris would be one of the big names during free agency this past summer. Wasn't a lot of speculation for him when free agency hit. Ends up staying with the Sixers. And I think it makes sense for both sides. And he fits nicely next to MB. Here's Harris. After the made shot from Andre Drummond. Harris's shot is off. Detroit leading by nine. Jackson kicks to Brown. Here's Rose. Griffin trying to get open. And there's Derrick Rose on the assist by Brown. Six points for Derrick Rose. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Passes it to Richardson. And it's sent back by Drummond. Ooh, they've come out ice cold to start this half. Three misses and as many attempts. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net. And that helps. Now here is Harris. After the miss from Reggie Jackson, that one's in there. The Detroit lead is cut down to eight on the bucket from Tobias Harris. Inconsistent from range. When he first entered the league, Tobias has turned that completely around. Oh, and here we go with Simmons. Nobody back. And then Simmons slams it in. Yeah, whenever Simmons gets a chance to show off his insane jumping skills, he seizes. Jackson from long range. And he's good on the three ball. Jackson's got five. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. Pass to Richardson. From deep. Rebound Andre Drummond. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Rose up on top. Richardson cover. Knocked loose. Griffin and the rejection by Embiid. In the corner, Simmons with it. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Reggie Jackson. Gotta admire the hard work by Simmons. A, a genius at drawing contact. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. No good on the free throw. The first pick in the 2016 NBA draft, Simmons has been a phenomenal addition to our league.
And he's good on the second. Pistons leading by eight. Here's Rose. And he banks in the layup. Eight points for him. Derrick Rose inside is a treat to watch because watch how high he gets off the floor. Kicks it out to Richardson. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. And that's now nine points for Josh Richardson. Detroit's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Outside Jackson. Griffin inside, working on Horford. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. He doesn't let you off the hook, Blake Griffin. He likes to draw contact and usually gets to the free throw line. He's gone five of eight free throw shooting in the game. Definitely not making the most of his chances at the foul Take line. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Well, well, he's been at the line so often tonight, but only just now is he starting to look comfortable. Markeith Morris has checked in for Detroit. Blake Griffin hits them both. The 76ers trail by nine. The pass to Simmons. And then Simmons slams it in. And I gotta say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Here on the 2K leaderboard are the rebounding leaders from a season ago. Number one, Andre Drummond. Second, Joel Embiid. But these guys are always around the hoop, always with a nose for the ball. A dominant season inside for both. Rose dishes to Griffin. Poked loose and stolen by Horford. Simmons with it. Guarded now by Jackson. And they double up Simmons. Stolen by Jackson. Harris against Brown. Jackson finds Griffin. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for the 76ers. They'll tip off a road trip in Charlotte where they'll take on the Hornets. And then on Sunday, they'll go up against the Magic in Orlando. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. good on the second so he hits one of two and we come back to it again and again if you're just looking at points and rebounds you really miss Al Horford's impact it goes way deeper 
than the box score. Now here's Griffin. 22 points for him. It's Jackson atop the key. High post try and good as it just snugs right down through the net. And it looks like they left their defensive effort back in the locker room, guys. They just haven't had the same commitment here defensively in the second half. It's stolen by Brown. And now the fast break. Griffin with the ball. He kicks it to Rhodes. And the Pistons getting another bucket right there. And some detractors have looked at Horford's stats, and Greg, they said he's not an all-star. Even Sports Talk Radio calling him average Al. Nonsense. I mean, still a great defender, efficient scorer, elite passer as well for a big man. Then you get to his leadership. Big Al is the total package. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Detroit. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one to start a three-game homestand with that game. Got a piece of it. Simmons with it. And Griffin picks him up defensively. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. Wow, he is lighting it up here in the second half. Pistons leading by six. Jackson passes to Griffin. And it's sent back by Horford. Pass to Richardson. Tries again. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to go on Markeith Morris. This is what you want. Put the defender in a position where he has to foul you to stop you. Richardson can be a tricky cover. For Philadelphia, they have converted 7 of 11 free throw attempts up to this point in the game. That's good from Richardson. We talk a lot about second round picks coming in and making a difference. Josh Richardson is one of those guys, and he was rewarded financially for it. Zaire Smith, he's checked in for Simmons. And then for Detroit, Doomboy is checked in for Griffin. Luke Kennard comes in for Bruce Brown. And Langston Galloway subbed in for Rose. Now here's Jackson. Seven points in the game. Pass to Kennard. Kicks it to Galloway. Pass to Jackson. Lock at six over Richardson. And again, it's the Pistons missing. The 76ers trail by four. To the middle, here's Horford, and he makes good on the layup. Horford's got ten points. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. the pass to Jackson here's Morris and nothing is falling for him right now 76ers have gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half Smith finds Harris for the tie yes and it's Smith with the assist that time Smith's got four assists now tonight nice bucket the polished inside game something Harris relies on now, here is Morris. Shoots over Embiid. And again, it's the Pistons missing. Philadelphia's gone 2-3 when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. They grabbed their own miss. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. I'll tell you, Tobias gets a little harder to defend every year. Continues to add new wrinkles to his game. The 76ers have gone 9 of 13 from the line. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Well, you look at the career of Tobias Harris, and, boy, he's bounced around a bit. Has never slowed his development or production, though. You put him anywhere, and he'll find a way to help his team. Jonah Bolden's checked in for Philadelphia. Detroit also making some changes. Drummond comes in for Morris, and Tim Frazier subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Time out, time out. For a player this good, still in his 20s, Tobias Harris has been on an astonishing number of teams. How a timeout called by Detroit. And with Harris, he's been moved so many times. You know what, Greg? You forget he's still quite young. 
Yeah, I mean, he really is just starting to enter what should be the prime of his career, has improved every offseason, and is a great rebounder and scorer. And how about the numbers on Andre Drummond? He's coming off an excellent season. First in rebounding, eighth in steals, and he finished among the top ten in blocks, bringing that intimidation factor to the paint. And getting back to the fact that he led the league in rebounding, you know how hard that is? What a tremendous asset to the team. Now here's Frazier. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Galloway to stop the drought he can't get it to go so Philadelphia will take it the other way Richardson that's a two pointer the 76ers again can't hit it and I'm sure next time he sits down coach is going to have a few choice words for him with that shot selection and you know what he knows it you have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions That's good from Dumboya. Second free throw, no good. And Greg, Al Horford over the summer opting out of a contract with Boston, the final year with the Celtics. A bit of a surprise to fans. You know, Horford said he wanted to test free agency. Talks between him and Boston abruptly ended, was wooed by several teams, but ultimately signed on with the Sixers. From past the arc, and there's Dumboya on the assist by Frazier. Frazier's got assist number five here tonight. Philadelphia has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Richardson against Frazier. Smith outside. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. And, well, Detroit shooting right around 41% from the field in quarter three. Harris kicks to Richardson. It's good from long range. Richardson's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? Passes to Dumboya. They get a hand on it. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. And Philadelphia making a change here. O'Quinn's checked in. Pass to Galloway. Five to shoot. And Drummond kicks to Galloway. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Galloway has got it all tied up now for the Pistons. Here's where Galloway excels. Better off the catch than initiating. Here's the pass to Richardson. We've got 148 left in the third. Ball's knocked loose. It can be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 17-7 run. And it's Smith finishing it off. This is where Tobias has really improved, keeping his eyes up, making plays for others. Detroit's gone 3-5 with the long ball since entering the second half. Here's Frazier. 
A shot missing. Good work defensively by Richardson. Harris looking it over. Pass to Smith from outside the arc. It's hauled in by Frazier. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. And it's blocked by O'Quinn. Richardson outside. Good on the bucket. And now a 4.76ers lead. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now, here's Doomboy. He's got eight. Passes it to Drummond. Drummond is doubled. Down low. Here's Doomboya. And the jam by Doomboya. And for those who What's criticize up? Drummond facilitating, I say re-watch that play. He's improving. Simmons checked in for the 76ers. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for the Pistons. What's up? Good from Dumboya. 24 seconds left to play here in the third. Outside, Simmons. Pass to Harris. Outside for Simmons. Four on the clock. Here's Bolden, and it's good, but hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay mon. Well, we thought the third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before the buzzer. And the NBA replay center in Secaucus is queuing it up, and, and even before we look at the replay, I, I'm pretty sure he got that off in time. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replays here, and it's here to stay for situations just like that one. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And from the most recent huddle, let's listen in on head coach Dwayne Casey. Right, keep working the baseline behind the defense. But down there, keep crowding the lane. Keep crowding the lane. All right, show no gaps. Show no gaps. So the message there, backdoor cuts and strong interior D. And that's smart coaching. Kevin wanting his team to come together during this stretch. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. On the court for the Pistons. On the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. Then there's Dumboya, and it's Kennard in at the two-guard position. Richardson, no luck. Pistons trail by three. Here's Kennard. Poked away. Here's Galloway. Gets a very good look and converts. Galloway has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Pistons. Simmons looking around. And when Simmons is taking it strong to the cup, he's looking for a foul. Love this guy's aggressive. And that one misses. One. 
good on the second free throw. And really, if not for the miss, they'd be sitting in a much better position. Here's Galloway, guarded by Simmons. Poked loose and stolen by Simmons. Here's Harris. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got assist number eight here in this one already. Pistons trail by four. The pass to Kennard. Here's Dumboya. Back to Kennard to the left side wing. Shot clock at five. Galloway kicks to Dumboya. Kennard. And the foul called on Blake Griffin. That'll be his second foul of the game. Scotty's checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. And Detroit with a change here, too. Derek Rose is checked in for Langston Galloway. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Simmons passes to Harris over Dumboya. Here's Bolden, defended by Griffin. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. And really, he played mistake-free basketball up to that point. That's the only time he's turned it over so far. And the 76ers making a change here. Embiid's checked in. And Detroit with a change here, too. Jackson's checked in. Pass to Griffin. And hammers that one down right in the face of Mike Scott. It's a rough way to make a living, but somebody has to do it. Blake Griffin absorbing a lot of contact in the painted area. Scott, good. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. And there's a whistle, and that's going to go on Simmons. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. That's his fourth foul of the evening. He needs to be careful now. Pick and choose where to be aggressive. The Pistons working the ball around now. Jackson with it. Picked up by Harris. Count it. And the Philadelphia lead has been cut down now to just two on the basket from Jackson. After a lackluster first half, he's taken charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. Here's Simmons. Rebound by the Pistons. Drummond's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. Here's Rose. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. The 76ers have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's good from Scott. The Pistons making a change here. Brown's checked in. So one for two that time at the stripe. Pistons trail by three. Outside Jackson tries it from 19. Rebound by Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Here's Simmons. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The first one falls. No good on the second free throw. 
it's important to stretch this lead out as much as possible right now, and that's exactly what he did there. Jackson drives in, and Philadelphia grabs the miss. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. And Ben Simmons picks up the foul. That's his fifth foul. Al Horford, he's checked in for the 76ers. To the inside, Brown, and the dunk by Brown. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Timeout called the 76ers. Bruce Brown, as a rookie, was a fantastic role player for the Pistons. Came in looking to provide plus defense and play with energy to spark the team. We've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Brett Brown talking with his team. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Guys? Thanks, David. Shot clock at six. He blocks it again. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Harris outside. Simmons finds Harris. Good D by Drummond. And so it's Drummond with it. He'll bring it up for Detroit. It's Brown on the wing. Richardson covering. Jackson against Simmons. Drummond passes to Brown. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Griffin can't get it to go in. The 76ers leading by four. There's the feed to Horford. Stolen by Jackson. Horford against Griffin. Out to the wing. Passes it to Jackson. From deep three-point range. And again, it's the Pistons missing. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. And well, he's going to have some explaining to do on the sideline about why he took that shot. Low percentage chance. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammates. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Harris passes to Embiid. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Harris has got three assists now in this one. Getting better at facilitating for others. Tobias Harris with the pass that sets up the score. Rose against Richardson. Here's Drummond. That one misses. Philadelphia leading by six. Here's Simmons, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. That's their third straight make off an assist. That's good from Simmons. 
I love how hard he's playing, really since the break. All the Started. defense can do at this point is foul him. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game Tobias Harris and it's been a terrific night for him in terms of the scoreboard uh, they've run a bunch of sets for him and he's continued to come through scoring as well as he has it's taken a lot of pressure off the rest of his teammates a really solid performance here in front of the home crowd he may not be the star of this team but nights like this are what make him a fan favorite Pistons trail by nine. Rose dishes to Drummond. He kicks it to Jackson. Looking to end his cold spell. Can't cash in from close range. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. The drive by Simmons. And he uses the glass on the layup. And now it's an 11-point Philadelphia lead. Simmons against Jackson. Shoots a fader. And Griffin with the score. The assist by Jackson. 26 points for Blake Griffin. When Blake gets on a roll, you have to watch out. This is a man who has found some rhythm, and he is not letting up. Simmons doesn't go that time. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Pistons trail by nine. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Sometimes it's all about patience. His first three of the game, something to build on. Simmons finds Horford. Simmons against Jackson. No good from Simmons. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for the Pistons. Here's Rose. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Richardson against Rose and stolen by Drummond. And now the fast break. Griffin with the ball. Simmons with the defensive effort. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. There's the dish to Horford. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Free throw drop for Al Horford. So Horford gets two. Boy, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Left side, Griffin. You got him, you got him. Count the basket. Griffin's got 28 points for the game. Usually you wouldn't want your big man to do that, but Griffin is no ordinary forward. Simmons against Griffin. 
There's Embiid. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on Reggie Jackson. And the first one at the line is good. And he makes the first but misses the second. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Jackson's got nine points now in just the second half. The 76ers leading by five. Outside, Simmons. Harris with it. Pass to Embiid, just four to shoot. Shoots over Brown. Second chance shot, and the layup's good off the glass. Embiid's got five points now in the quarter. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Driven shot is off. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assists pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Pistons trail by seven, and here comes Brown, leading the fast break. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. It's incredible, and I'll tell you what, it's a joy to watch. There's more to this game than threes and dunks. Rebound by the Pistons. Shoots. Detroit, no good that time either. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait, but you can't blame him. Griffin against Simmons. Over Jackson. And rebounds again. This kind of effort is amazing. And he will not be denied. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. Griffin can't get it to go in. Guys, you've got to think a basket here would seal it. No question. That would be all she wrote. And Simmons kicks to Harris. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Using his height and length there to prevent the second chance opportunity. Jackson with the bounce pass. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Blake is so hard to guard off the dribble, and he has the elevation to go over you, but he is strong enough to absorb contact and get to the line. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And he does get the second one. And that brings them within eight. And the 76ers with possession. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Scott, the pass to Burke. Softly drops in the floater. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. 
They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. So the 76ers win it. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching.